Yo, T U R family, what is going on? It's your boy Jay. Today we are actually here with sort of like a little educational video. Now, if you're in the live streams, y'all know I really do suck at trying to give people tips while I play. I'm not really the best at giving tips and tricks and stuff like that. That's not really my thing. But today I decided to because I ain't gonna lie to you. If y'all been in the streams, I've been destroying people with hats. Cut us all live. Y'all know where I'm going is we do it every video. If you ain't following your boy on Twitch, do that right now. Link in the description. I've been doing my thing with hats. So today's video will be, first of all, me giving out my favorite build to run on hat. And then just some tips and tricks while I'm playing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, y'all. So for the perks, we're gonna be running agitation, iron grass. Say the best for last in that good old corrupt intervention. We got the agitation, iron grass. That way, if survivors do happen to run outside of my area that I have trapped, if I down them, I can bring them back and keep my momentum. Then we got say the best for last. So when we hit a survivor, you know the cool down you know what say the best for last does it helps tremendously with being able to hit a survivor and if they trigger trap being able to teleport and then you know corrupt intervention so so we don't get completely killed while we're setting up then for the add-ons i didn't bring anything too crazy so we just run in brown add-on all they do is just decrease the time it takes to set the trap and slightly increase the range that i can teleport now for the making of this video to show how good hag is i purposely set myself to survivor sided maps to show you what she's capable of hope you guys enjoyed the video guys if you haven't already i'm telling you you're missing out if you haven't followed me on twitch be sure to do that and if you're new to the channel hit the sub button turn notifications on so you don't miss when i upload without further ado let's go ahead and get straight to the video y'all probably like this man is crazy he just sent himself to haddonfield all right the reason why i sent myself to haddonfield is because i want to show you guys that hag is not map what the fuck was that lag jesus louise all right so we're gonna place the trap right there. Now, as soon as I spawn, what I like to do is try to trap up the area that I spawn in. That way I don't have to go across map, you know, waste more time than I already have to placing my traps and all of that stuff. And plus, what I hate doing is I don't like getting into a chase as soon as the game starts. Two seconds later. Like, I don't really don't like getting in a chase early because it doesn't really allow you to set your traps up. Now, I can commit to this chase because I think I will be able to... Oh my God, do we have AFK? Well, we have an AFK, so this game is this game is over with anyways. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna utilize this time to set my traps up and somebody DC'd. I'm trying to give a little tutorial on my favorite build on Hag and why I use it, as well as provide y'all with some good content. Somebody DC'd. Oh my god, therefore I have to quit now too. Of course the D-Strike is the one that quits. See, this would have been an interesting lobby and a very good lobby to show you because we had some, I think, decent survivors with good ass perks which would have made it a little challenging we were on Hatfield. it would have been a good god uh uh that was my last Haddonfield map offering so i can't send us to a, actually i can send us to ornament show you the hag is not map dependent i can't send us to ornament unfortunately all right people we're on ornament so like i was saying earlier when i first spawn the first thing i like to do wherever i spawn is where i like to place my traps now the good thing about this is we have a nasty little three gen light so as you can see we have this gen right here this gen right there that gen right there this is perfect so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna utilize this time right now to set up my uh, traps. And the also good part about this is look at the corrupt. The corrupt is in our favor right now, which is really good. So I'm actually wanna trap right here. I, I wanna get all of this trapped up. If there's a pallet upstairs, I would like to, yeah, yeah. Wherever there's a pallet up here, I'm gonna trap that. Which is about right here. All right, bam. And then we're also gonna trap this up down here. Now my preferred three gen would be over there. We actually don't have bad gen placements on this map right now. So this could, this, this could be good. Go ahead and trap this up too. Alright, gonna trap up this rock too. I definitely need some traps over here in this area. What I will trap though is this. I'm gonna put it right here though, so they can't trigger through the window. And then I'm also going to place one over here, and then we should be straight. Once we get somebody down, that's when the ball will start rolling. So right now we're good. We got our corrupt intervention. We'll save us some time. Jins haven't popped yet. Uh, the possible gen that they could be on is over there. Yeah, just like I said. Like I said, we had good gen placements for once, and we actually had good corrupt. We had a really good corrupt. This is the only gen being worked on. We good. We should be getting a hit right here. Now, you're going to see why I have a... Got rid of a pallet. I don't mind that. Actually, I guess we can break this because she won't leave this area. Now, we want to force them into our area our, our, where our traps are. That should have been a hit. I got robbed just now. I'm not going to lie. Auto lock kind of robbed me. There we go. I don't mind that. We got a hit. We got rid of this pallet too. Awesome. Yep. Once you place the traps, that's when the ball starts rolling, y'all. Now we got our iron grabs. We got our agitation. I don't care about that gen that they were just on, so I'm leaving. 
I'm probably gonna hook her. Yeah, so this will check this out. Check this out. Oh, wait, where am I at? We got our iron grass and agitation. Power of iron grass and agitation. Oh, no. I hesitated where I was gonna place her, though. That's on me because I hesitated where I was gonna take her. I shouldn't have hesitated. So I jacked that up. I jacked that up. I jacked that up. That's on me. I made a mistake because I hesitated, and that little hesitation is the reason why she was able to wiggle out. Now, if I don't hesitate, I should be able to hook her right here. But this is why I bring agitation iron grass. So that was actually a good representation. Now, I made a huge mistake when I hesitated, which allowed her to be able to wiggle out. Now, she ran far away from my area that I have trapped up. Luckily, I was able to utilize my traps and stop that shack loop and was able to down her. This is why I bring agitation iron grass, because due to me having that, I was now able to bring her back into the area that I already had trapped up instead of trying to trap up a whole new area. We're still in our three gen. We're still doing good now. Once you get a hook, that's when the, it gets ugly. That's when it gets real ugly. Now, I'd be foolish to go across the map just to be nice to survivors and let them get an unhook. We're in a chill spot right now. Yeah. I don't really care about that, that trap. I'm not going to go over there. I don't care about that. But what I do want, actually, is if they get unhooked, I need to trap up where they're going to run to. So we got this trapped up and they'll probably like run over here somewhere. All right, so we just secured struggle. So now if she gets unhooked, she's dead. All the gens they're getting are the ones I gave them. Yep, we might be getting a down. And those are those hag mind games right there, y'all. What you just saw were those hag mind games right there, y'all. Does he have... Alrighty, and just like that, the game ends. Yep, just like that. Once you place your traps and they go into the area you place your traps, it's over with. They can't really do nothing. If somebody has unbreakable, the game might come back. But that isn't me losing, that's me getting out perk. We got rid of Shack Palace so we can commit to this chase. I fucked that up. Yeah, Iron Gra Yeah, whatchamacallit. Unbreakable just saved the day. But here's what we're gonna do, though. Here's what we're gonna do. We need to find Lori. We need to kill Lori. And I hear... Yeah, we don't care about her. I want Lori dead. You're dead. You're dead. So the Unbreakable did allow them to come back, but it's all good. We have somebody dead. We have two people slugged. We have all the pressure. We got a nasty 3-gen. I hear Claudette, actually. I kind of did. Fuck, I didn't want to. This was actually a good hook. I, I shouldn't have hooked her here. That was a bad decision. I think she'd be going to be running to one of my traps over here. Yeah, she should be. This is what we'll do. Nope. Can't loop hag. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Power a hag, baby. All right, we don't have traps. So we need to set our traps. This is a really good trap right here. Put one right here. This is a dangerous loot. We need to trap this up too. To work. Yep.
Ooh, if I had duration time, we could have did some stuff. I want to show y'all some, like, tricky stuff you can do with Hag. So he probably is not going to... Oh, wait. What is he doing? Okay, so he didn't run away. I want to show y'all some mind games. Hopefully, next game I can show y'all. You can't do nothing against a good Hag, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You can't do nothing against a good Hag. So I hear Meg. I see Meg as well. Yep. Should have been a hit. Guess I swung too early. Yep. Oh, I'm getting robbed. These should be hits. It's all good. That's a hit. All right, we got iron grass agitation. I'll still play smart just for the educational purposes. So we have iron grass agitation. She's not wiggling. Well, she decides to wiggle now. So we'll put her back in our area. There's a trap right here. This is a really good trap right here as well. And we're going to also trap this back up here. I hear him. We're going to force him this way. We're going to get a trap right now. Yep. There we go. Right, let's see if we can get a higher grass agitation play. We'll bait the play. We'll bait the uh, pickup. And if we see Claudette, she's dead. Yep. See the mind game, though? You see the mind game, though? Because she thought I was gonna. Dude, yo, I'm getting robbed with these fucking auto lock shit, bro. Like, these should be hits. These should be. What is. Yeah, I got robbed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ah! I got robbed like twice. I'm not gonna lie. That shit kind of just pissed me off. What also threw me off was I thought I downed Meg, but she had BT, so she just ate the hit. This is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, like most games, if you're a killer man, you know what I'm talking about. Once you kill off like two survivors, it gets very boring. They just hide out. Then you eventually find the last survivor and then the other person gets hacked. That, that's really how this game ended. You don't need to watch it. It's pretty boring. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more gameplay like this, tips and little tricks from Jay, educational Jay, let me know in the comment section. Yo, guys, guys. Y'all have been going crazy. 500 likes is a little too easy for y'all. Let's try to get a thousand likes on this video right now. If you guys want to see more, let me know what killers you guys want to see me play as. And I might bring back the series where I play you guys' build. So if you guys want me to start that series back up, let me know. Uh, we can also do that live on Twitch. All you got to do is follow your boy. And yeah, it's lit. Thank you for watching the video. It's your boy TRJ. I'll catch y'all next video. And thank y'all for the support. I went out of my way. I'm trying to feel the